Hello, this is Eddie from AppSheet, here to help you create an app-based database that works with your Excel spreadsheet. Here you can see that I've pre-populated a simple Excel spreadsheet with column row headers and data for an employee directory database. It's important that our column headers are always located on the first row for AppSheet to be able to interpret our data structure. So here you can see that we're starting with name, title, department, office address, start date, employee, phone, birthday, and image. Of course, depending on your use case, you could just as easily make a database app that works with inventory, properties, driver jobs, customer orders, or just about anything you could throw in a spreadsheet. You can find this particular sample data in the video description if you'd like to get started building your own app. So to get started, let's head over to appsheet.com. From here, we'll start for free. We'll hit New App. And keep in mind, if it's your first time signing in, AppSheet will ask you to create a new account, and you'll have to integrate your data source. And here we'll start with our own data. We'll call this employee directory database. And we'll choose our data. In this case, since we're using Excel, let's go ahead and use our OneDrive. We could also use Dropbox or Box if we wanted. We'll find our spreadsheet, Excel to app. So here you can see that AppSheet has taken our existing spreadsheet and it's extracted the data structure and pre-populated an app. It's taken its best guess a lot of our features and functionalities, but we'll definitely want to clean it up. To start with, we'll head over to our data tab. <clears throat> and here you can see that AppSheet has pulled in our employees table. If we wanted to make use of the other tables, we easily could. But in this case, our employees table is more than sufficient. We can see that AppSheet has allowed adds and deletes. So we can do that from our app. If we wanted to change this so you could not do specific tasks like adding new rows or deleting new rows, we could also incorporate that into our app just by unchecking these boxes. From here, let's jump over to Columns. And you can see that AppSheet has done its best to understand what type of data each column is. And normally it gets it right, but we'll just double check and make sure that everything is good to go. Looks like that's the case. And here in the Slices section, if we wanted to, we could easily create a subset of our data. For instance, we could say that people in the Bellevue office would be part of their own slice. And we would just create a row filter condition for that. But we'll skip that for now. We'll head over to the UX. And here is where a lot of the magic happens. You can see that this employees view corresponds to this employee preview view that we're watching over in the right. And if we wanted to, we could easily change that into a table or a gallery. Um, but let's actually just go ahead and stick with the deck view. And let's actually group these by department. And we'll sort it. Let's do this alphabetical order. So now we have accounting, business development, engineering, human resources, legal, and so forth. From here, let's jump down to our display icon, and let's actually change this to a head. So now we have a head icon for employees. And let's go ahead and save this view. And here you can see that we have our map view. In reality, this isn't all that useful. We only have two offices. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this view. Um, but in its place, I'm going to actually create a new form view. We're going to call it new employee. Throw this on the right. And let's give this a appropriate form icon. And we will save that. So now we have our primary employees view. And we could actually create a new employee just from there, but I've also created an extra new employee form view that we can access at any time. With AppSheet, you can have up to five views in the bottom menu, and you could create additional views for the side menu. We could also customize our brand. We could change our app logo. In this case, let's have a uh, checklist that looks a bit like a directory. And we could also create format rules and bold and highlight different parts of our app. In this case, let's actually take our name and let's apply simple bolding to that. We'll save that. And now we have bolded employee names. So one quick thing I'll show you as well is this preview other form factors section, which allows you to test out your app at any time. So here you can see what it would look like in a mobile view. We could rotate it. We could see this on a tablet. We could also see this in our full screen web app. Of course, we could enter into each person. 
We could see more of their details. We could call, text, email them. And that is how you preview your app. So jumping back over to our editor, let's head over to our behavior section. Here in the actions, we could create a new action. For instance, if we wanted to create shortcuts to jump to another app or another view or start texts or phone calls or emails, we could easily do so by creating an action. We could also create a workflow. For instance, we could say whenever a new employee is loaded into the system, we could go ahead and email our boss. And we could also create reports. In this case, I'll create a simple report. We'll call it monthly headcount. And we'll just say that every month for our table employees, let's go ahead and email our boss at appsheet.com. So here in the security section, we can specify whether we want this to be a public or private app. In this case, since we do have personal contact information, we'll of course keep it a private app and we'll have Microsoft be our authentication provider. And one thing I'll point out as well is that at any time we could head over to users and we could add users to test the app or share the completed app with users just through this panel. But from here, let's go ahead and jump over to not deployed and this will run our deployment check. And we can see that despite a few warnings, we are good to go. So we're gonna move our app to a deployed state. So here you can see my personal smartphone. And I'll go ahead and go to Outlook and I will find the install link. We'll go ahead and create our shortcut. We'll add this to our home screen. Now you can see that we have our employee directory database. So within our app, we have our new form where we can add an employee at any time. We can jump over to find any of our employees. We could click in, we could text them, we could email them. And keep in mind that any changes that we make on this app will then be automatically synced to our spreadsheet through the cloud. And that is how you build an app-based database directly from Excel. Keep in mind that with AppSheet, you can also connect the platform to other data sources like Google Sheets, Forms, and Docs, SQL databases, and other cloud software like Smartsheet and Salesforce to build your apps from wherever your data lives. So let us know what you think. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. And when you're ready, head over to appsheet.com to get started building your first app. Thank you so much for watching.